Uh, so now I want to go over a more difficult derivative problem where we have to use the quotient rule. And the reason why this is going to be more difficult is because not only are we going to have to use the quotient rule, in the middle of the problem we're also going to have to use the chain rule as well. So I guess let's just dig right into this example. Uh, here we have f of x is equal to 5x minus 3 cubed all over 2x cubed plus 1. Notice how we have two things being divided by each other. We have a 5x minus 3 cubed being divided by a 2x cubed plus 1. Uh, whenever you have two things being divided by each other, we have to use the quotient rule. Uh, so now I'm going to label our function. Our numerator is always going to be our high. And our denominator is always going to be our low. So let's just get started right away with this derivative. And what I like to do before I get started with my derivative is I like to place my parentheses first. So I'm going to place all my parentheses. In the numerator, we have two parentheses followed by a negative sign. And then we have another two parentheses. And in the denominator, we just have one parentheses that is squared. So following our quotient rule formula that I wrote for you in the top right hand part of the screen, in the first parentheses is our low. So since our low is 2x cubed plus 1, our denominator, I'm just going to write a 2x cubed plus 1 in our first parentheses. In our second parentheses is our d high. That's the derivative of our high. And notice how our high has a parentheses followed by an exponent. It's 5x minus 3 in the parentheses followed by an exponent of 3. And any time you take the derivative of a parentheses followed by an exponent, you need to use the chain rule. Um, so in order to take the derivative of 5x3 all raised to the third power, we need to use the chain rule. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the 3 exponent, and I'm going to multiply it in the front, and then I'm just going to rewrite my 5x minus 3. Since we had a 3 exponent to start, we need to subtract that by 1, so that becomes a 2 exponent. And since we just used the chain rule, we can't forget, we have to multiply everything by the derivative of the inside of the parentheses. The inside of the parentheses is 5x minus 3, uh, so the derivative of that is 5, so we got to multiply everything by 5. Moving on to our next parentheses. In this parentheses, we have to put our high. Since our high is just our numerator, 5x minus 3 cubed, I'm just going to copy that in the parentheses, 5x minus 3, and I'll just put the cubed outside the parentheses. And in our last parentheses in the numerator, we have to put our d low. Our low is 2x cubed plus 1. The derivative of 2x cubed plus 1 is just 6x squared. And in our last parentheses in the denominator, we need to fill in our low. Our low, once again, is just 2x cubed plus 1. So I'm just going to rewrite it, 2x cubed plus 1. And I already squared it from before, so I don't need to do that. So now we have taken the derivative of this function using the quotient rule. And as always, you need to simplify the derivative as much as possible. Uh, so that's going to be our next step. We want to simplify this. So the first thing that comes to my mind when simplifying this is this 3 and the 5 can be multiplied together. This 3 being multiplied by the 5 gives us a constant of 15. And it's always proper to write the constant in front of everything. Um, so I'm going to write the 15 constant first. The 2x cubed plus 1 can't be simplified anymore, so I'm just going to rewrite that exactly the same. Once again, the 3 and the 5, I multiplied together already, and I wrote it in the front, so those are gone. The 5x minus 3 squared cannot be simplified, so I'm just going to rewrite that exactly the same. And the last part of the numerator can't be simplified at all. The only thing I'm going to do, instead of writing the 6x squared second, 
I'm going to write the 6x squared first, and I'm just going to multiply it by the 5x minus 3 cubed. And the denominator, 2x cubed plus 1 squared, cannot be simplified, so that stays exactly the same. So now the derivative looks a little cleaner, uh, but it can still be simplified even further. So notice in the first term, there's two 5x minus 3s. And notice in the second term, we have three 5x minus 3s. So notice how they have at least two 5x minus 3s in common. So my next step in simplifying this derivative is I'm going to factor out those two 5x minus 3s that they have in common. Also notice in the first term we have a 15, and in the second term we have a 6. The 15 and the 6 have a 3 in common, so I'm also going to pull out and factor a 3 as well. So now inside this parentheses, I'm just going to rewrite everything that we have left over. Uh, for the first term, the only thing we have left over is a 5 multiplied by 2x cubed plus 1. In the second term, the only thing we have left over is a negative 2x squared multiplied by a 5x minus 3. And the denominator cannot be simplified, so it stays the same, just 2x cubed plus 1 squared. So now this can be simplified even further. We can distribute this 5 with the 2x cubed and the 1, and we can distribute the negative 2x squared with the 5x and the negative 3. So the first part of the derivative cannot be simplified, so I'm just going to rewrite it exactly the same. 3 multiplied by 5x minus 3 squared. Now I'm going to multiply the 5 times the 2x cubed, which gives us a 10x cubed. A 5 multiplied by a positive 1 gives us a positive 5. Now I'm going to multiply the negative 2x squared with the 5x. That gives us a negative 10x cubed. I'm going to multiply the negative 2x squared with the negative 3. That gives us a positive 6x squared. And once again, our denominator stays the same. Just 2x cubed plus 1 squared. Now this can be simplified even further. Uh, notice how we have a positive 10x cubed and a negative 10x cubed, uh, so they cancel out. And finally, we're left with a 3 multiplied by 5x minus 3 squared. That doesn't change, it stays the same. Inside this parentheses, our 10x cubes canceled out, so the only thing we're left with is a 5 plus 6x squared. And once again, our denominator cannot be simplified. It stays the same. 2x cubed plus 1 squared. Now we have completely taken a derivative using the quotient rule. So here are some more videos with some more example problems related to the video you just watched. I really hope you're finding my tutorials helpful. So until my next video, I will see you later.